Father Knows Best is a timeless classic that captured the hearts of audiences during its original run from 1954 to 1960. It brought laughter and life lessons to living rooms across the nation. Some of the cast members are no longer with us, while others have moved on to other things. Factsverse presents Father Knows Best cast, Where Are They Now? Robert Young Robert Young was born February 22, 1907 in Chicago. He initially pursued a career in law before being drawn to acting. His acting journey began on the radio, where he gained popularity for his work in dramas and soap operas. His rich and soothing voice quickly became recognizable, making him a favorite among listeners. In the late 30s, he transitioned to the big screen and signed a contract with MGM and began a successful film career. But it was on television where Robert cemented his place in the hearts of viewers. In 1954, he took on the role of James Jim Anderson, the wise and caring father on Father Knows Best. The show centered around the Anderson family, where Jim, a successful insurance salesman, navigated the challenges of parenthood with humor and understanding. Father Knows Best struck a chord with audiences and quickly became a beloved family show during its six-year run. Young's portrayal of a loving and involved father resonated with viewers, and he became the quintessential TV dad of the 50s. The series not only depicted the joys and trials of family life, but also the values of trust, love, and communication. Robert Young's genuine and compassionate performance as Jim set the standard for TV fathers and left an enduring legacy. Following the conclusion of the show, Young found success in another beloved TV series, Marcus Welby, M.D., which earned him critical acclaim and several awards, including an Emmy. He continued to work in various TV shows and films throughout the 70s and 80s, leaving an indelible impact on the entertainment industry. Robert Young passed away July 21, 1998, at age 91. Jane Wyatt Jane Wyatt was born August 12, 1910, in Franklin Lakes, New Jersey. After studying at the prestigious Barnard College, she pursued a career in theater and quickly made a name for herself on Broadway. In the late 30s, she transitioned to Hollywood, where she signed a contract with Columbia Pictures. Her early film roles showcased her versatility, with performances ranging from dramas to comedies. In 1938, she gained widespread recognition and critical acclaim for her role in the film Lost Horizon. The success of the film solidified her position in Hollywood and opened doors to more significant opportunities. Throughout the 40s and 50s, she continued to shine on the big screen, starring in films like Gentleman's Agreement and None But the Lonely Heart, which earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. But her role on Father Knows Best is what made her a household name. In 1954, she took on the role of Margaret Anderson, the nurturing and supportive mother. Margaret was the epitome of warmth and wisdom, and Wyatt's portrayal of the caring and understanding mother resonated with audiences, earning her adoration of viewers of all ages. Her chemistry with Robert Young was a driving force behind the show's success. After the show, she took on various roles in comedies and dramas. In the 60s, she earned further recognition for her portrayal of Amanda Grayson, Spock's human mother, in the series Star Trek. She died October 20, 2006, at age 96. Eleanor Donahue Eleanor Donahue was born April 19, 1937, in Tacoma, Washington. Her journey into the world of entertainment began early on. Her career started in the 40s as a child performer, and she quickly made a name for herself with her delightful presence in various films. In 1953, at age 16, she landed a contract with Universal Studios, which marked the beginning of her successful acting career. But she remains best known for her role as Betty Anderson, the responsible and sweet eldest daughter on Father Knows Best. Her portrayal of Betty added a sense of relatability and warmth to the show. Her character's genuine and caring nature made her a beloved figure in the hearts of viewers. As the family navigated various predicaments, Betty's growth and maturation during the series endeared her to audiences, and Donahue's impeccable acting brought the character to life. After the conclusion of the show, her career remained vibrant, as she ventured into other successful television shows like The Andy Griffith Show and The Odd Couple. Throughout her career, Eleanor Donahue continued to be a respected and cherished figure in the entertainment industry. Today, she's fondly remembered as one of the quintessential TV daughters of the 50s, and her role in Father Knows Best continues to inspire new generations of viewers. She's in her 80s now and only makes occasional public appearances. Billy Gray Billy Gray was born January 13, 1938 in L.A. 
At the age of six, he made his film debut, acting in several films throughout the 40s and 50s. But like his co-stars, it was his role on Father Knows Best that made him a star. His character, Bud, added a delightful element of teenage mischief to the show. His comic timing and antics made Bud one of the most popular child actors of his generation and of all time. But as the show progressed, Bud evolved from a mischievous young boy into a responsible and caring young man, navigating the complexities of adolescence under the guidance of his on-screen parents. Father Knows Best concluded a successful run in 1960, leaving behind a legacy of wholesome family entertainment. Despite the show's end, Gray's career remained active, and he continued working in television and film exploring a variety of roles that showcased his versatility. He did have a brief scandal in the 60s after the show ended being caught with drugs, but he put this behind him to continue his career. However, Gray's passion extended beyond acting. Eventually, in the 60s, he found a new calling in the motorcycle racing world, largely leaving Hollywood to pursue his love for the sport full-time. In later years, he revisited his acting roots, making occasional guest appearances on television and participating in events that celebrated the legacy of Father Knows Best. Lauren Chapin Lauren Chapin was born May 23, 1945, in Los Angeles. At just six years old, Lauren joined the cast of Father Knows Best in 1954, playing Kathy, the youngest member of the Anderson family. Her innocent and sweet nature added a gentle touch to the show and often brought a balance to some of the more tense and dramatic moments. The success of the show brought Lauren into the limelight, making her a well-known child star of the 50s. Her chubby face and natural talent made her a popular figure, and she quickly became a recognizable face in Hollywood. As an adult, she continued acting, but not as much. She had struggles with drugs and had been in jail a few times. She worked a string of odd jobs to make ends meet. But she eventually managed to kick the habit. She's in her 70s now and is an ordained minister, which has brought her much joy. Today, Lauren's journey serves as a testament to the complexities of fame and the importance of finding purpose and fulfillment beyond the spotlight. Her time as Kathy Anderson may have been brief, but the impact she made on classic television endures, and she remains an integral part of the heartwarming nostalgia associated with Father Knows Best. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite character from Father Knows Best? Let us know in the comment section below.